Welcome to part two of my three part XLOOKUP vs VLOOKUP series. In this video, we are going to dive deep into how to use the XLOOKUP function and all of its search capabilities. XLOOKUP is the modern successor to the OG VLOOKUP function because it is much more flexible and addresses a lot of VLOOKUP's constraints. If you are unsure how to use VLOOKUP, I recommend watching part one of this series linked below to learn how to use the function and its limitations. Now let's learn how to XLOOKUP. The XLOOKUP function is a new and improved version of VLOOKUP that is used to search for information within data. XLOOKUP looks up a value in an array and returns a corresponding value in another array. Before we review some examples, let's learn XLOOKUP's arguments. The first argument is the lookup value, which is the value you are searching for. Here we are looking up which state Bill Bates lives in, so Bill Bates is the lookup value. The following argument is the lookup array, which is the row or column of data that you are searching for the lookup value in, which in this case is the name column. The third argument is the return array, which is the array that contains the value that you want to return. We want to know which state Bill lives in, so the state column is the return array. The next three arguments are optional arguments that determine how XLOOKUP searches for the lookup value and what to return if the lookup value isn't found. The if not found argument is a default value that XLOOKUP returns if it can't find the lookup value. Match mode determines whether to search for an exact match, an approximate match, or a wildcard match. If match mode is equal to zero, XLOOKUP searches for an exact match of the lookup value and will return an error if it's not found. Negative one and one search for an approximate match if the lookup value isn't found. Negative one returns the closest value less than the lookup value, and one returns the closest value greater than the lookup value. Lastly, if match mode is equal to two, XLOOKUP will search for a wildcard match. Unlike VLOOKUP, if you omit this argument, XLOOKUP will default to an exact match search, so you only have to enter this argument if you want to find approximate matches. Lastly, the search mode determines how the function searches for the lookup value. If search mode is equal to one, XLOOKUP searches for the lookup value from the first value in the lookup array, while negative one searches from the last value. If you omit this argument, XLOOKUP defaults search mode to one and will search from the first value. Now that we know XLOOKUP's arguments, let's look at a few examples. Here we have sales data and our boss asked us to research this sale ID and send him the representative it's assigned to. We can quickly look up this information using the XLOOKUP function. To look up the representative corresponding to this sale ID, first enter the XLOOKUP function followed by an open parenthesis. Next, we need to enter the value we are searching for as the lookup value. So I'm going to select the sale ID in cell B3. The next argument we need to enter is the lookup array argument, which is the row or column that we are searching for the sale ID in. So I'm going to select column B of the sales data table. The last argument we need to enter is the return array argument, which is the array of data that contains the corresponding value we want to return. In this case, we want to return the representative assigned to the sale ID. So I'm going to select column C of the data table. Now we can just enter the function to automatically return the representative assigned to the sale ID. Next, let's look at how to use XLOOKUP's optional arguments. Here we have the same example and we want to look up a new sale ID, but when we enter it into cell B3, XLOOKUP returns an error. This is because the sale ID actually doesn't exist in this data table, so XLOOKUP couldn't find the value. Instead of having XLOOKUP return an error, we can use the if not found argument to set a default value to return if the sale ID doesn't exist. For example, let's say we wanted to return does not exist if someone searches for a sale ID that isn't in the data table. To do this, all we would have to do is enter does not exist in double quotations as the if not found argument and just enter the function. As you can see, XLOOKUP now returns does not exist instead of an intimidating NA error. Let's look at another new feature of XLOOKUP, the search mode argument. Search mode allows you to search for the lookup value from the bottom of the data table. For example, here we have a list of employees' positions along with their start date, and we want to know Taylor's current position. To return Taylor's current position, we need to search for the match that is closest to the bottom of the data table. 
To do this, enter the XLOOKUP function, select Taylor's name as the lookup value, the employee column as the lookup array, and the position column as the return array. Now, to search from bottom to top, we need to enter a negative one as the search mode argument and then enter the formula. As you can see, XLOOKUP returns sales representative instead of customer service because this value corresponds to the first instance of Taylor Swift from the bottom of the data table. Another huge improvement of XLOOKUP is its approximate search functionality. Unlike VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP can return the closest value that is greater than or less than the lookup value and does not have to be sorted in a particular order to find an approximate match. For example, here we have sales, sales goals, and percent to goal for each employee, and we want to know which employee will most likely hit their sales goal next. So we need to find which employee has the closest percent to goal that is less than 100% because that indicates that they haven't reached their goal yet. To do this, enter the XLOOKUP function, select 100% as the lookup value because we are searching for the employee who is closest to hitting 100%, select column E as the lookup array, column B as the return array, and now we need to use the match mode argument to search for an approximate match. To find the closest value less than the lookup value, we need to set the match mode equal to negative one and then enter the function. As you can see, XLOOKUP returned Charlie because she is the closest to completing her goal. Similarly, we can find who most recently hit their sale goal by setting match mode to one to find the closest value greater than the lookup value. Now XLOOKUP returned Taylor because she has the closest percent to goal that is greater than 100%. One last improvement of XLOOKUP that I think is super useful is that it actually can return multiple values. For example, here we have sales data and want to return the entire row corresponding to the sale ID. Instead of using the XLOOKUP function four times to look up each value, we can look up all the values at once by including each column in the return array. So all we would have to do is enter the XLOOKUP function, select the sale ID as the lookup value, column B as the lookup array, and now here's the trick. Instead of selecting one column as the return array, we can select columns C through F, and XLOOKUP will return the value corresponding to the sale ID in each column within the range. As you can see, XLOOKUP is a powerful lookup function with very few limitations. The only limitation is that if XLOOKUP is searching data, in an external workbook, the workbook containing the data has to be open for it to work. Otherwise, if your XLOOKUP function is returning an error, it is most likely because the lookup value does not exist in the lookup array, the lookup array is not a singular row or column, or the lookup array and return array are not the same size. Now that you've mastered XLOOKUP, hopefully you can see why it's the hot new Excel function that offers much more flexibility when searching data. If you want to dive deep into the differences between the XLOOKUP and VLOOKUP functions, hit that subscribe button and tune in next week for part three of the series, XLOOKUP vs VLOOKUP.